Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 241. Common Musculoskeletal and Connective Tissue Drug Reactions. Name the drugs that causes fat redistribution. Drugs that causes fat redistribution includes glucocorticoids and protease inhibitors. Name the drugs that causes gingival hyperplasia. The drugs that causes gingival hyperplasia includes phenytoin and verapamil. Name some drugs that causes gout or exacerbates gout. The drugs that causes gout includes furosemide, thiazides, niacin, and cyclosporin. What are myopathies? Myopathies are a disease of muscle tissue. Name all the drugs that causes myopathies. The drugs that causes myopathies includes fibrates, niacin, colchicin, hydroxychloroquine, interferon alpha, penicillamine, statins, and glucocorticoids. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all the drugs that causes myopathies? The mnemonic is fish and chips gives you myopathies. And that's F for fibrates, N for niacin, C for colchicin, H for hydroxychloroquine, I for interferon alpha, P for penicillamine, S for statins, and gives is for glucocorticoids. Name some drugs that causes osteoporosis. Drugs that causes osteoporosis includes corticosteroids and heparin. Name all the drugs that causes photosensitivity. The drugs that causes photosensitivity include sulfonamides, amiodarone, and tetracycline. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the drugs that causes photosensitivity? The mnemonic is just remember, set for a photo. So that's S for sulfonamides, a for amiodarone and T for tetracycline, so sat for a photo. Name all the drugs that causes a rash, such as Steven Johnson syndrome. Drugs that can lead to this include penicillin, ethosuximide, carbamazepine, sulfa drugs, lamotrigine, allopurinol, phenytoin, and phenobarbital. What is the mnemonic to help you remember drugs that causes a rash, such as Steven Johnson syndrome? The mnemonic is to remember bad rash after a peck slap. So that's P for penicillin, E for ethosuximide, C for carbamazepine, S for sulfa drugs, L for lamotrigine, A for allopurinol, P for phenytoin, and the last P for phenobarbital. Name all the drugs that causes systemic lupus erythromatosis-like syndrome. The drugs that can lead to lupus-like syndrome include hydralazine, isoniazid, which is INH, procainamide, and phenytoin. What is the mnemonic to help you remember drugs that can cause lupus-like syndrome? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember, it's not hip to have lupus. So that's H for hydralazine, I for isoniazid, P for procainamide, and the last P for phenytoin. Name the drug that causes teeth discoloration in kids. The drug that does this is tetracycline. Name the drug that can cause tendinitis, tendon rupture, and cartilage damage. The drugs that can do this is fluoroquinolones. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.